All right. Oh, wow. It's on. How cool is this, you guys? So some of my fans were asking to do a live stream. So we're going to test this out tonight. Let me know how the audio sounds. I have a different mic set up. So yeah. And today we have a whole bunch of cool stuff we can talk about. Or you guys can give me cool video ideas. Or um, I don't want to talk about some of the things that are going on um, in the world with the illness because I can get demonetized. So we're going to avoid that. Um, we could talk about the forum, but yeah, please comment if you can hear it and if you can see me and how the quality is, because I have no idea. Okay, cool. And if you guys have solar questions, because this is my solar channel, but if you guys have unrelated questions, we can do that as well. So that would be cool. Lithium titanate batteries. I want to do some more videos on those, actually. Have you tried 280 amp hour cells yet? Yes, I have. They're pretty big. They're pretty hefty. Oh, wow. We have a lot of comments here. Okay, hold on, you guys. Let's read them all. Oh, wow. There's a lot of people. This is crazy. How about do a collab with me and solar-powered PT Cruiser? Is it an actual PT Cruiser that has solar panels on it? Yeah, battery questions, too. Wow, there's a lot of questions. Oh, my goodness. Oh, really? Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed. Hold on. I do not see you doing much on Victron gear lately. Any reason why I'm not sponsored, by the way? I like Victron. Victron's nice. But actually, what I've been doing lately is testing Midnight and Outback. Because some of my viewers, they're like, Will, I know you like doing this, that, and the other. But you got to try the more expensive stuff. And they were pretty correct. I mean, it's really good equipment. It has every safety certification on the planet. And I was an idiot for not actually trying those. They cost a lot of money though, but they're really, really good. I know people will get mad if I make a video. They'll be like, this is overpriced, Will, but you get what you pay for it. So yeah, let's see here. Air conditioning with lithium 12 volt. If you're running an air conditioner, I would run 48 volt. I don't like wind turbines. I keep getting questions about wind turbines, but... um. The wind is not every day, you know? You never know when it's going to be windy. If you live, like, if you're on a boat, they're great. But if you're just in a neighborhood with trees that can cause um, turbulence, it's not a good idea, honestly. Wow, we're at, what, 220 viewers already. My goodness, you guys. Oh, wow. Uh, let's see. What's your opinion on GrowWatt? A GrowWatt is a... Uh, Voltronic. That's all it is. It's an MPP. There's only one company in the world that manufactures all of them. It's just different names for them. Let's see. 24 volt system won't work with RVs. Yeah, but you can use a step up um, boost converter RV life with DJ. Is there a way to hook up Renogy DC without ignition wire? You, yeah, you don't need it. Oh, wow. There's a lot of questions. Review the 1500. We already reviewed that one. Yeah, turbines are noisy. Also, there's moving parts. A solar panel is practically solid state. Um, solar panels, though, require solar charge controllers, and capacitors go bad over time. So there is that. You can spend more money, though, and get, I think, the ceramic capacitors. I don't even know how they manufacture that or what part's ceramic. But if you spend more money, they will last a very long time. And compared to a turbine, my, those things can fail pretty quickly if if it's not a very nice one. You have to spend some good money. Oh, yeah, no touching your face during the quarantine. That's right. Yeah, I only have one car, and then I have a Prius still. And the Prius is like my work truck. Um, I haul solar panels and wire and wood and everything. Actually, the Tesla Model S I was using as my work truck. I could fit huge pieces of wood in the back. With the Model 3, because it's just a trunk and it's not a true hatchback, you can fit stuff in there. But like I was fitting ladders, two by fours, like some crazy large stuff in that Model S, which was really nice. Yeah, turbines break. And also it's hard to find um, high quality ones, by the way. You pay for what you get. You don't always get what you paid for. Yeah, there's lots of ripoff and scams. Let's see. 
Do solar panels make any sense? Okay, hold on. There's lots of comments now. I would build my own battery nowadays. It's so cheap. It's crazy. Let's let's see. I don't like to do my own builds because I'm busy, or I don't like to sell my own builds because I'm building my own stuff. It's funny because people always want me to do their work or they want me to um, answer questions on individual systems, but I'm learning every single day too. Like I have these books behind me and I'm cranking out my own new system with stuff that I've never done before. So, you know, I'm constantly learning every single day as well. I could put a hitch on the Model 3 and attach a trailer, but my Prius already has a hitch. So I don't want to do that quite yet. The Prius is like my throw around vehicle. Like it can do everything. I go off road with it in Arizona, here in Nevada. Like it's great. And um, yeah, lots to say about that. But no one ever suspects a Prius as being like a bad person car. So you can you can drive it anywhere and do all sorts of fun stuff with it. What's your thoughts on putting a window heater like the back car window to melt snow from panels? That's interesting, but panels are already black, so they absorb quite a bit of heat and heat up pretty quickly. Well, if they're covered with snow, that's a good point. Wow, I never thought of that. I've never dealt with snow, so that's really hard to say. Wow, there's so many comments, guys. This is so crazy. This is trippy. How do you choose a BMS? Do you guys have any, like, um video ideas for the future that would be really fun um i know we all i i feel like there's a lot of the similar questions going on here with lithium batteries silicon dioxide solar batteries yeah they're still very heavy aren't they i still need to test them i've read one data sheet and that's it but i think it's because the cycle life is really good right david pavel something Wow, there is so many comments. Collab with EVTV. Jack Rickard does not like me that much. We got in a little hissy fit feud because I said that there's no thermal um, runaway that's self-propagating. And then he said, yes, you can burn down a vehicle. And then I showed him all these studies. I showed him a transportation study saying that that's impossible. And he got really mad about it. But I think he's a great guy. I think he's really smart. He's one of those people that's just born with a big brain, man. He's very, very smart. And I would love to have a little collab with him. You know what? I met a lot of YouTubers last year when I lived in San Diego. And I do not like most YouTubers. Um, they're very different in person. And me, like everyone that watches my videos and my family, I'm the same. Like I, I don't change at all when I'm in front of a camera. But um, one guy that was really cool was uh, Rich from Rich Rebuilds. He's such a nice guy, by the way. Just had to throw that out there. He's really cool. Also, I've been watching a lot of um, economics videos <laughs> due to the you know economic state that we're in right now. And the uneducated economist, he's really cool, really smart, genuine guy. He only has 9,000 subscribers and really amazing content. Very smart. I love it. Um, wow, we were getting donations too. Yeah, I saw that Mr. Beast, like he commented on my video, you guys. He's got like 33 million subscribers. Like I make videos about solar power. Like I didn't expect any of this channel to ever blow up. I thought I was just helping people that need solar power and that's it. I wasn't expecting like hundreds of thousands of people. It's crazy. Um, Should I test the Lion Energy? I don't know, you guys. I have one in my room right now, and I have the older one, but there's not a whole lot that's different, and um, it is cheaper, and you get what you pay for. It's not going to be nearly as nice or have the same safety certs as the other ones, but it's a good battery if you can get it on sale. Recommendations for vehicle mounting methods for solar panels. Overlander vloggers are lacking in this area. Oh, that's a good point. That can be really tough, honestly. I get so scared because um, I don't trust anybody's mounting methods. I think everyone should have a stainless steel safety line attached to all solar panels because no matter how secure it is, you just never know if the roof will lift up on RVs, if the mounting brackets, like there's a lot of forces up there and it's, it just scares the heck out of me. 
I don't live in San Diego anymore, you guys. I moved to Henderson, Nevada. By the way, I love, oh yeah, Whiteboard Finance. I watch his videos too. He's really cool. And I messaged him. He's a really nice guy. Um, another cool YouTuber. Um, yeah, out here in Las Vegas, it is so nice. I have hiking trails in my backyard. We have tons of sunshine. I power the Tesla, the electric mountain bike, and I can do so much more than California. Like California, the laws and the taxes and just the general vibe is very different. And I love it here. It's like more outdoorsy. I don't live in Las, Las Vegas, so I live in Henderson and I live on the outskirts of town. So it's very like beautiful nature. I love it here. I do not like Las Vegas. I do not like Las Vegas Strip. I do not drink. I do not do any of that. So I stay away from the party types. Hey, bro, I'm running 32 panels, two of them on my van, and I'm wondering about the conversion rate. What do you mean by that, Hugh Margie? I don't know what your question is there. Can you do a vid on your Luna? Dude, the Luna bike is so fun. It's so fast, okay? It rips. Like for a, It's like an, a downhill mountain bike with the same amount of travel, but it's electric, and you can go up and down every mountain you want. Actually, so I'm not sure what it's called, but I was mountain biking the other day, and there was this hill, and it was turquoise, and it looked like an alien planet. It wasn't like turquoise rocks. It was like turquoise sand and rocks and boulders and everything was like a, a blue green. It was so bizarre out there, man. Yeah, Soul Arc. I need to make a video on that. It costs so much, you guys. It's like $8,000 and I'd only probably make like two or three videos on it. But the Soul Arc is like the best on the market right now for something that can use any battery, connects to grid, safety and UL certified. Everything is fantastic on there. But I can't believe there's almost 400 people watching this right now. That's crazy. Just for solar stuff. I mean, I love solar. I just didn't expect it to get this big. It's crazy. What's the Pepcon plant explosion in Henderson, Nevada? I do not like 32 650s unless they are in packs. Um, some people are taking the model three battery cells and putting them into packs. And if I can get my hands on them, which I should in the next 30 days or so from, um, California, one of the distributors is making packs, then I'll build something with that. I stay away from combustible chemistries now because on the DIY power wall group, there were a couple people that burned their houses down. And ever since th that happened, I took the Tesla battery schematics off of the website because it is safe and it's easy to use, but it just takes one person that has their family sleeping in a house or something. And you get one thermal runaway event because there's a BMS failure or no, no BMS or the absorption is not set properly on the solar charge controller and the whole entire house or shed or whatever is on fire and someone can die. So I do not like that. I'm not a big fan. Um, any combustible chemistries I avoid. So um, lithium iron phosphate does have uh, 32650 cells that you can buy and you can make your own packs. But yeah, I'm not going to mention them unless it's an easy to build safe pack because it's just too much drama if I if it's not simple. Um, let's see. Yinlong batteries. Yeah, they're lithium titanate and Yinlong is the one that makes them. And if you get the grade A ones, they'll pull full capacity, but all the other relabeled ones are Yinglong, but they're grade B or grade C cells. Actually, I wonder if they're grade C. I know that they have grade B cells, but usually that's the ones that you sell. How do you find the hybrid inverter solar controller charger you reviewed a while back? You guys, you have to use names. I don't know what you're talking about here. I have so many solar charge controllers that we talk about, so it's hard. Oh, silicon dioxide batteries. I could actually look up some stuff real quick on it. I think it's because there is a an amazing charge cycle life count and they're pretty cheap. No, I don't think they are cheap. Hold on. I think they're the same as like a Battleborn. Oh, they charge very quick. So, yeah, let's see. So 10 to 15 year lifespan, 
2,800 cycles at 50% depth of discharge. I don't, that's not that impressive, you guys. And it's heavy. Can you guys prove me wrong and tell me why people like these? So it uses 95% less sulfuric acid than lead acid. Yeah, this just doesn't seem that good at all. And Firefly's carbon foam batteries, they seem great on paper, but a lot of people have, um, what is it, problems with the valves leaking and there's uh, quality control issues. So I never wanted to test them. Also, there's not many distributors in America. So I wasn't a big fan of those ever Solar grow lights and hydro hydroponics is very simple. I mean, you could run a substantial size system with a very small array. I can't believe Mr. Beast commented on my channel, you guys. That's incredible. I actually might make a personal um, YouTube after I pay off this house. I'm going to pay off this house pretty soon. And then I'll be like free. I can do kind of whatever I want. And I want to like have some fun videos. But yeah, it will be on another channel. Right now, I'm really trying to crank away at working and building up the lab and building this system and trying to help as many people as possible. But I can't do it forever. I kind of want to, you know, venture out and have like other stuff, other little channels. That would be so much fun. Oh, the Titan, guys. Guess what? So the Titan, um, it, it's doing well. I actually emailed them and they haven't had a single return. It might be because it's really heavy and people don't want to ship it back. Or maybe they fixed all the problems that um, did occur if they did and they didn't tell me. But so far, I haven't heard a single complaint. Usually when there's something wrong, people tell me instantly because they need for me to know so then I can make a video and tell the world about it. But I haven't heard anything wrong with that. I was thinking about making a video of taking the Titan and supplying an AC distribution panel. I need to find a main panel with a main circuit breaker and then we'll make a cool video on that. But um, to do it right, we can use a jumper on a split phase and um, panel so that we can use 120 for all of it if you're not using 240 volts. Um, I do not like flexible solar panels. Yeah, right asked, um, are they reliable to moving transport? No, I do not like them at all anymore. I have some that I'm going to make some videos on this summer. I'm still waiting for it to be summer. You guys, that's why I do, I do batteries during the winter because it's dark and usually I don't have much storage. So I want to, you know, make it as good as possible, but the solar panels, um, I can't do that until it's kind of sunny and it's sunny as heck already here right now, but if I get like a bad result, it could make someone look bad. So I want to have like a really good sun test condition um, or lumin luminous or I forgot the word for it. The photon density. What would you call that? You have those meters that measure it. Hold on. Any downside to painting the white back of a solar panel black? Oh, I would never do that. Oh, look at this. Brent tried the Firefly batteries and they failed within a year. That's good to know. Yeah, I've, all, I've only heard bad things about the Firefly batteries. On paper, they seem perfect, but when you actually use them, they're still heavy though. Do a draw my life video. I don't do those, you guys. Like, uh, I'm very, <laughs> I mean, I like making YouTube videos, but I'm not like typical YouTubers. I can't do most of those videos. I don't think people care. You know, I mean, me just rambling on. Oh, solar irradiance. Thank you, duh. There we go. 500 people? No way. This is crazy. I can't believe it. Oh, wow. How about making a safe, simple car booster pack, possibly with LTO batteries? Hmm. Well, you could just buy one at the store. You could buy them at Walmart for like, what, 80 bucks? I'd rather just pay buy one instead of building one, honestly. Zamp solar panels. I haven't tested one, so I don't have an opinion on that, unfortunately. They seem well built, but I can't tell yet. Small and phase microinverter would be pretty fun. What happens if you paint the blood? Black, black. Well, there's light reflected everywhere and it's going to absorb heat, but I don't, what's the, why would you do that? It also insulate that side. You don't, you don't want to do that. 
for to Captain Narkill. <laughs> nice name, dude. Let's see how many Yingluang cells. What do you recommend? Why or why not? I don't know what that question means. Wow, we have a lot of viewers right now, guys. Let's see. I have some other stuff I wanted to mention. Oh, the shed. So I'm adding, I'm going to make it an 18 kilowatt hour battery. So all of these spare batteries that these battery manufacturers keep sending me, whether they're junky or really nice, I'm going to just slap them all together. And I have lots of 24 volt batteries. So we're making a 24 volt system now. And also a lot of like busmen circuit breakers and lots of other components. It's easier to source 24 volts versus 48. I love 48 volts, but man, it will be so cool to have a 24 volt massive system. And I can literally, oh wait. Yeah, I haven't made anybody a moderator. I had a moderator like a year ago. I used to do this a couple times, but um Oh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to make a Frankenstein, Frankenstein system that can charge the Tesla. And I gave you guys numbers of how many miles we can get with it, but I'm actually going to test it. I'm going to review my own system and see if I'm full of crap and if I'm completely wrong. But it will be really cool to see. I know, right? Now that even though Vegas is really sunny, I'm inside all the time. I mean, before I was in the RV or I was on the streets, so I was constantly outside. But now that I'm inside, this is the first time in nine and a half years, you guys, that I've lived in a home. Like before that, I was constantly moving with the RV or I was in hostels or just up and down the coast of California, like everywhere. I, this is so weird for me. And I love it, though, the silence of a home and being able to study and build like when I build something, no one's bothering me. A lot of the systems that I built when I was in the RV, it'd be at like two o'clock in the morning and I'd be in a town I've never been in. And the stress was real, like always cops knocking on the doors and stuff. So it's just so crazy to be in a, in a house, you know, it's crazy. I love it here. What would you guys like to see for on grid? Because I can't think of anything I don't want to tell my viewers to do something and they don't do it to code. That's why I took down the split phase video because higher voltage, even though it's easier for people that understand it, it's very dangerous and you can die instantly. Like if you just touch that, you are dead, man. Um, also the arcs generated by it. I have a, an electrician friend and he had an arc flash and his whole entire arm is black. Okay, like it is all burnt and it was just the light that burned him. He didn't get shocked. He didn't touch anything. It was the light that burned his arm. Scary stuff, man. Electric electricity is absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh, Steffi's here. That's so cool. Hey, Steffi. Oh my goodness. Wow, we have 580 viewers. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, let's see. Wow, we got a lot of comments going on. When are you getting the cyber truck? I don't think I'm going to get the cyber truck. I love the stats and I like Tesla, but if you, if you bash that thing into someone's car, you're going to have to pay for, well, yeah, it's just, it's not easy to fix a stainless steel unibody. In my opinion, that just seems tough. I might actually get the um, Rivian, but for a truck, like a truck is meant to be beat up and I don't want to spend $70,000 on a truck. Like trucks, I like to haul stuff and like get them dirty. I don't want to like keep it nice and clean and I don't know. And also stainless steel, I guess the fin your fingerprints, the oils can actually hurt it. I'm pretty ignorant on that though. Yeah, the cyber truck is kind of ugly. I really wish they made different versions because I know like the cyberpunk um, people that love that stuff will be all over it. Hey, Steffi. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm not, I think they should have had a couple designs that you could choose. I do game, you guys. I play Apex Legends and it gets insanely, it gets intense. I've also been um, practicing shooting guns like all the time here in Nevada. I practice every day with training guns and then I go out to the desert with rifles and it's, it's so much fun, man. But um, yeah, lots of practice. The Prius truck, I could like cut my Prius up and turn it into a truck. I was going to turn the RV into a flatbed monster truck with a V10 engine because that would be insane. But um, I sold it and he's probably going to build it into something cooler. I sold it to the coolest dude ever. He watches this channel too. 
So I'm going to try to like go out there and take a video and be like, just like show you guys what happened to the truck and see, you know, that'll be cool. Um, yeah, dude, shooting guns is so much fun. Like in California, I couldn't do that. Like everything I did there was illegal and the taxes and the, it's just, oh, man, I want to, I need to do a personal like YouTube channel for those kinds of videos though. I think I get demonetized. Oh no, I'm full time. Yeah, I do online stuff. I don't, I haven't had a normal job for a long time. The last time I worked was before I was disabled with the nerve disease. So it's been like 10 years now, but, um, start a reloading YouTube channel. I really want to make a solar panel system for heating up a pool. I actually bought a tiny jacuzzi for my backyard. And I'm going to power it off of solar, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to power it off of the solar shed. But it's it's a joke because it's so easy for that solar shed. That solar shed can power my house. It can power my car. And so powering a little jacuzzi is like a joke. But I'm going to try and make like a micro system that can pull it off. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, normal jobs. I don't like normal jobs in general. What do you mean in Apex Legends? Wraith. Wraith is my favorite character. I destroy people, guys. I got 2,000 damage the other day, and I think the most kills I've gotten was like 12 or 13, but it's so much fun, man. I love that. Let's see. Thoughts on... And I have like 1,000 kills with Wraith. I used to play uh, Bangalore. She's pretty cool. 170-watt flex panels. I wouldn't get flex panels. Yeah, I was going to make an off-grid, you know, cool channel thing. I was going to do like a bunker type thing out in the desert here in Nevada. And it was going to be amazing. It would have a water catcher solar array. And then I'd have like an off-grid electric truck powered off of solar. But the laws are just such a pain in the butt, man. You can, you, there's actually some counties in Arizona that you can do it. But it's like 500 miles away from me. So I don't want to drive all the way out there to make a YouTube video, right? Like, I love making YouTube videos, but I don't love making them that much. <laughs> That'd be crazy. It'd be so hard. Um, let's see. Tesla car for off grid power? I wouldn't use that. You need to make your own battery bank with a chemistry that's made for it. Keep in mind, everybody wants to use their Teslas for for power storage for their house, but you don't want to cycle an NCA battery, that chemistry. The reason you use those is because the specific energy is so high and it's so dense. And so there, it has a specific application, which is a vehicle. And to cycle that needlessly for a house is backup is just silly. You should get um, like lithium iron phosphate or something that's more stable for high cycle use. Oh, string inverters and partial shade. Don't they handle that well? I've been reading more about the in-phase system, but I've never actually, it should be fine. Each one's individual. Yeah, they're optimized. It There shouldn't be an issue with that. You should get full output. Yeah, we need to do transfer switch videos, like big transfer switches. I agree. Tesla does have a dedicated house battery, but check this out, you guys. It's not that big. Like here in Las Vegas, considering how large my air conditioner is, I don't even know if I could go through a single night with that thing. Okay, I'm looking up the Powerwall stats right now. Wow, it's so like user friendly. It doesn't tell you anything. Oh, here we go. Usable capacity, 13.5 kilowatt hours. You can scale it up to 10 power walls. That's actually pretty good. But listen to this, only seven kilowatts peak for power. So if I want to run my air conditioner and my car for speed charging at night, you just can't do it. So, and it's only five kilowatts continuous, really? So I guess if you had two of them, two of them would be good. 10 kilowatts good, but yeah, it's actually a pretty good deal considering what you get. Yeah, I don't think you can beat the Powerwall right now. I mean, the LG Chem Cells is more expensive and you have to find a dedicated inverter and an installer that does that. So 
Yeah, this is really nice, actually. You'd probably do that or a soul arc. That would probably be the best. I play only PC, and I built a new PC, and it rips. It is so good. It's amazing, you guys. And it matches my car. It's all white and black. I wish I could show you guys. It's such a nice computer. It's water-cooled, too. Wow, we have 600 viewers right now. Holy cow. Hold on, I'm reading more. Geothermal cooling and heating. Yeah, that's very difficult though. It's a lot of work. Honestly, most of the time you guys, I do solar because I'm lazy. I'd rather slap more panels up there and then I have so much power that I can offset my laziness. <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's how you do it. It's so cheap nowadays too. Yeah, geothermal is really cool though, especially in hot places like this. Ah, oh, best BMS for leaf battery. That's tough, man. I don't know. Most BMSs are actually pretty good nowadays, you guys. Like compared to when I was complaining like two years ago, we've got great options. Yeah, Powerwall 3 will be cool when they get that up and going. Yeah, I can fit so many panels. I'm going to have like a 9 kilowatt array on this house. And honestly, because of this economic downturn, I'm starting to look at foreclosures near me and I might buy a second house, but with a really big roof. And then I can charge like electric trucks or cars or whatever in my friend's cars. And I could have like the air conditioner blasting. That would be so cool. And I love it here, you guys. Like here in Nevada, once I pay for this house and the solar is charging my car and the amount that I pay for taxes here is so minimal, I'm going to try to live for practically free. So my property tax is a little over $100 for my house a month, okay? Um, my solar, because I'm on net metering, I still have to pay to be attached to the grid even though I'm offsetting all of my consumption. Um I need to pay for internet, my phone, a couple other things, but I'm going to try to live for free. Like all of my money is going to the mortgage because I don't want to have any more bills because no matter what recession or pandemic hits, if I have zero debt and I have a house that's powered off of solar, I can do whatever I want. So that's the goal. And I want to show people that they can do it too. So that's like the next step, but it's pretty simple. I mean, anybody could just throw solar on their house and pay off their house and then you're done. It costs a lot of money though, unfortunately, but this is a good place to do it. The property tax rate and everything else. It's really cheap. <laughs> These are such great comments. You guys, I'm not seeing any like mean stuff. It's really nice. You guys are great. Dude, I'm buying gold and silver right now. I have a silver bar. Oh man. Yeah. I can't wait. Because our, our freaking currency is getting devalued by the minute with these bailouts. I am ignorant on those topics, but I think the general idea I understand, and it's it's not good. Let's see. Will you be doing van life? Exp no, I'm not going to do travel videos. I don't like doing travel videos. I want to do more useful stuff. Okay, well, we're doing a lot of questions. Mean stuff. Well, come on. <laughs> Well, you never know. I get some crazy comments on these videos, you guys. Like, you would think that, you know, solar power would not have any drama at all. But it's crazy, some of the comments. I'm like, guys, this is just batteries. Like, people will fight about batteries on the forum. I'm like, guys, they are batteries. It's okay. Like, I don't have a, like, I don't care. I don't have a personal attachment to batteries. They're very useful and they're incredible. And we're literally storing electricity, which is practically invisible. I mean, they're literally as close to voodoo witchcraft as you can get. Yeah, 620 videos listen viewers listening to me talk about electricity. Oh, wow, this is so cool. 48 volt. Honestly, I would get the Ant BMS, Phil and Gabe. Gold Eagle for eighteen twenty nine. dollars Really? That's a good price. Isn't that... That's near market right now, right? You view tubular batteries? I don't see a reason for tubular batteries at all. They were good for, like, high discharge applications, but not, nothing else, really. 
Yeah, man, guns are so much fun. They're addicting too. Oh man, I wish I could post about it on YouTube, but there are so many channels out there for that. I do have Bitcoin, but the thing with Bitcoin is I can't eat it. You know, like it's not a tangible asset. And I understand every argument for cryptocurrency. And I love cryptocurrency. It's we need it really bad. But for me personally, I would stockpile food and silver and other things before I would stockpile large amounts of Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. But fundamentally, we need cryptocurrencies. I think it's it's such amazing technology. It's so cool. I think if we had, yeah, I think more people would buy crypto if they understand the benefits to it. Gold is, why is gold best? I have, from what I've read, I could be wrong, that silver has more applications for manufacturing. So for example, when you build a solar panel, you need silver to some degree, just a little bit. And for me, I know that we if, if it's something that we need for manufacturing, it's more valuable. But gold, what do we really need gold for? I know it's pretty, but um, yeah, from what I've read, I don't see many uses like for needs. I, I know you can make you can make an argument. Yeah, I think silver is better too. If we're blockchain developing anywhere, have you bought batteries with Bitcoin? Have you bought batteries with Bitcoin? I wish. Honestly, batteries should be a currency. They're so freaking expensive, man. <laughs> They're so expensive. Just have a box of batteries. Yeah, gold is in your computer. You need gold, absolutely, but not in not nearly as much as silver. I also wonder, I was reading about how deep water mining and also asteroid mining, um, I guess there's platinum and cobalt. And if you could extract it from those sources, it, the price of platinum would plummet, which would be pretty darn amazing to see. Have you looked into micro turbine generators? Yeah, I've seen, there's another guy that disproves like their numbers. Strippers do not accept Bitcoin. <laughs> that's true, that's funny. Silver is a better conductor. Your future wife needs gold. I don't want to get married at all, you guys. I am for, <laughs> I'm avoiding it like the plague. I think every problem that every guy in my family has had is because he gets married and <laughs> it's not a good, oh, video idea. Here we go. I just love the freedom. Like I get to work on projects all the time and I love working out, eating food, shooting guns in the desert. Like, why would I want to get married? Like, why? Like, I'm having such a good time right now. Like, uh, let's see. Transfer switch setup where your grid tie system can be taken off grid. That's probably the easiest way that most people can have an off grid system powering their home. You have an electrician do a back, uh, a generator backup automatic transfer switch, and then you just hook up whatever you want. It would take minutes. Yeah, I don't like the beat the bush guy because he posted things that are not UL listed and told you to connect it to the grid. And I do not like that. I'm all for cheap non-UL listed stuff. But when he's telling people to connect it to the grid in California when it's not, I don't think that's very nice. That's not good. You could get into trouble. Okay, some of these laws, like, it's not good. <laughs> Elon's illegitimate son. You're having such a good time until you meet the right girl. <laughs> I know. I hope I don't meet the right girl. That would be that would screw up all my plans. Hemp batteries. I love how people try to make hemp into everything. They're like a hemp camera, a hemp house, a hemp printer. Like <laughs> they're trying to turn it into everything. Marriage is an institution, right? I don't want the government involved with my personal relationships. Why should I like give them any say or anything like yeah that's my personal life i i don't think the government should have anything to do with my any yeah that's ridiculous it drives me nuts where do you see real estate prices going in california i just watched a video today from the uneducated economist and he made the argument that because 
you have this delay of payment for people that lost their jobs from the illness that's going around. Um, that when they foreclose after that, because they'll have to pay that three or four months all at once, from what he can tell. So there might be a huge like foreclosure fallout for real estate, and then prices of houses will drop. But I don't know. I I hate reading about economics because I can never make an actual decision. Like with electronics, you calculate it and you're done, right? You're either right or you're wrong. And if I'm wrong, then I'm an idiot. I'm ignorant. And I need to read more books all day long until I'm not. But when it comes to markets and economics, I feel like no one knows what they're talking about. They always talk about things after the fact or it's speculative. And I don't know. I, I, it pisses me off. I don't like it. RV related battery projects. I feel like I've beaten those things to the ground. Are we getting our 1200? Oh, the money. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, thank you, Mr. Smith. Oh, wow. Let's see. Oh, Canadian Solar. I have not. I have not. I want to try their residential panels. That would be pretty cool. They're pretty cheap. They're up there with Q cells. I've never taken an IQ test before. I don't think I'm very smart either. I, I can memorize things, but I think that's about it. <laughs> I do stupid stuff all the time, man. Most of the things that I do on my channel is because something blew up and I'm like, oh crap, that's how I'm not supposed to do it. And then I turn on the camera. I'm like, hey guys, guess what? We're gonna do this today. And you guys have no idea that I, I just learned the wrong way or learned how not to do it. It's so funny. But, you know, when the camera's off, you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> you guys want to watch my videos if you knew all the mistakes I make. I've shorted out so many batteries on accident. <laughs> you Usually I'm pretty careful, especially with higher voltage. Then I turn into a different person and I'm super careful. contact with i do not do specific um questions on an individual basis through the emails because i'll get hundreds of emails now like back in the olden days like two years ago i would have like one email a day and i could help people but now it's like just tons of emails and comments and messages and everything non-stop i should do a blooper video i actually shocked myself really bad in one of my videos and i was like oh crap and it like it really shocked the crap out of me and i wanted to put it in the video but i know people like freak out and they're like wow will's not a professional why why would i listen to this guy if he's getting shocked right now on his youtube channel but man it'd be so funny i wish i could post that people get butthurt though if i don't do something like perfect um, I ran out of equipment for that one split phase video and I really shouldn't have posted that video. I should have waited a couple weeks, got all the materials, but I just wanted to show, you know, how to parallel inverters, which is pretty simple. Honestly, most people could do it if they read the manual, but I know it's easier with electronics to actually see it done. Um, especially no matter how simple it is to see it done. I mean, I was like that when I was first learning Arduino and basic stamp to actually have a schematic, I would be like, oh, okay, this is so much easier. But when you have to like design circuits on your own or you have to like do higher voltage stuff, it's scary, man. You, It's pretty scary. Dude, oh, I want to do manufacturing, but it's, it's difficult, man. I know some companies that are developing things that I know we need in the industry that's only made in China, which I can't say yet, but if they start making it, I'll back them up and I'll talk about them more, but we'll see if they actually succeed. I've heard so many companies, they, these battery companies are like, oh, well, hey, we've got this really cool project. We've been working forever on it. We've got PhD graduates from Stanford and they never have a product. You know, they have all these designs or they send out a bad prototype or they can't make a lot of them. So you know, good manufacturing is pretty hard. It's very difficult. That's no excuse though. I should, you know, pursue that one day. Um, 
especially right now, we need it. But I think, honestly, I think the companies that are getting good right now, like Tesla, they're going to dominate. The Powerwall is pretty incredible, you guys. And also because they're working with, what is it, CATL in China, they're probably going to do lithium iron phosphate for their stationary batteries. That's what I'm thinking. I doubt they're using NCA or NMC or any of those other um, cobalt-based chemistries. There's no way for stationary. I mean, they do it sometimes. And I think the Australian backup power um, grid management, because they were having lots of fluctuations, I think that one is a cobalt-based chemistry. <sighs> yeah, I answered this earlier. I don't know if I want to do a video on the Lion Energy 1300. It's the same exact battery as the 1200. The only difference is that the terminal is slightly different so that when you crank it down, it doesn't spin or loosen the nut on the case. And that's pretty much it. It has the same BMS, the same type of cells. I just don't feel like you guys would care about that. I might do a video like about the Lion Energy versus Battleborn, but I'm so tired about talking about Battleborn. I want to just talk about you know, new and creative stuff. I want to make videos that no one else has ever made. Talking about the same old stuff gets really boring, but I know people always ask me to do those, but. <laughs> Name dropping Will Prowse ends arguments. Holy crap, you guys. That's funny. Oh, goodness. Okay, video idea. 24 volt system with all in one running an AC unit. In your shed. Okay, yeah. I have an 18 kilowatt hour battery and I'm going to power an AC unit in about one and a half months. So I think, because it's going to get to 100 degrees here soon. So that's why I'm packing all those batteries in there right now. But most people can't afford 18 kilowatt hours. That's like what? What, 15 grand of batteries? That's a lot of money. I mean, honestly, I would better off, be be better off buying a Tesla Powerwall. How much is that thing? Hold on. Okay, one power wall, the power wall two is $6,500, but with supporting hardware, 1000 so $7,600 per power wall. Yeah, why would you want to build, you know what, that is cheap, you guys. Oh my gosh, the sole arc inverter is like, how much is that thing? I think it's like eight grand. So it's like seven grand. You can buy an eight kilowatt for slightly less for 6,000. I would just buy a Tesla Powerwall. Honestly, I have a feeling that Tesla is going to take over the stationary grid tie solar inverter world with their system soon. Yeah, if you buy 280 amp hour prismatics from China, you are right. You can do it cheaper. You're, you're totally right, Justice Lee. I totally agree. Um, most people don't know about that. And most of the time, it's just the forum members. Honestly, my forum members know better deals than I do. I, I just like to let the forum just kind of do its own thing and let my members post whatever in the corporate section. And they post some crazy cool stuff, man. And it's not sponsored, not corporate. Whenever there's spam, people flag it. But it's a, it's a great community. It's amazing. Um, it's www.diysolarforum.com. Okay, video idea. Review GTK. <laughs> I can't speak. GTK LTO batteries? Oh, I've never even heard of that. Okay, hold on. I can't believe how many people are watching this right now. Oh, these ones? I wouldn't buy those. They just look so cheap. $300. Oh, it's LTO. Wow. I don't know. I hate that case, man. It's it's showing in the picture 12.8 volts. So I don't think that maybe they have usually 6S configuration nominal voltage is higher. So that already looks a little weird. Look at output voltage 9 to 14 volts. I bet you anything that this is a 5S configuration. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I don't think the GT key K looks, looks pretty good, you guys. And it comes with a 10 amp charger. That's weird. That's cool, though. I don't even care. As long as people are actually developing and manufacturing new chemistry battery packs, I'm super happy. But I wouldn't buy that. That doesn't look fun. 
vid challenge make a gravity battery i was gonna do it you guys there are so many cool like battery ideas that i want to do that are inefficient but then i don't do it like the wind turbine the only reason i don't do it is because solar and batteries just destroys everybody and whenever people like argue with me i'm like okay then why are these grid scale battery storage facilities using lithium iron phosphate like are you going to like disagree with all of those engineers and scientists? So usually I just go with the flow. If all of the studies tell me the same thing and all of the engineers are doing the same thing and spending their money in the same manner, I'm going to just follow that. But yeah, a gravity battery would be cool. But the inefficiency, somebody actually covered this on YouTube. It is so bad. Like a lithium battery versus a gravity battery. <laughs> I wouldn't even touch it, but it, it's fun. It's neat. It's cool. The Prowse wall. That's funny. Oh, you love it? Okay, what's the voltage that it runs at for most of the discharge curve from Can't See Us Prius? Video idea. Something about off-grid mechanical power storage. Yeah, I, it's not good. It's not good. How are you, William? <laughs> How am I? Dude, you guys, I get overwhelmed by these videos, by the way. They're stressful, like... It's no joke. I know you hear about burnout, but I literally have to like to get motivated again sometimes because I keep building solar power after solar power system. That's why for the next video, it's going to be my Frankenstein video. It will not be code compliant. It will be insanely powerful. And I'm doing it because I like to do it. And it's important. Everybody that is making videos on here, you need to like do what you want to do sometimes because I the whole point of this channel was to help people. But man, it, yeah, after like a hundred videos or so, it gets a little, it gets a little crazy. Video idea, review the HAO2 active balancer. I don't like active balancers. I don't like balancers in general. Like there's no practical utility. Poly or mono solar panels. I actually like to buy the cheapest, most used polycrystalline panels on the internet. Like whatever I can find, I'm going to get those. Um, honestly, so my friend had a warehouse and this was in uh, Bay area in Santa Clara and we tested panels from like 30 and 40 years ago and they would push 90% output. So most solar panels that are safety certified to be used for residential solar are going to last for a ridiculously amount of long, of <laughs> a ridiculous amount of time. The 80% output after 20 years is ridiculously conservative. People always tell me, well, well, solar panels, they lose 20% of their output after 20 years. And I'm like, absolutely not. If you actually look at the studies and if you don't have those in the desert and you have ample airflow, those things are gonna push over 90% for decades. So yeah, it drives me nuts when people say that because I'm like, Abs you can push 90%, no problem. And also typically with most solar panels, like it, the curve is like this, and then it tapers like this. It's like degradation on a battery. It's very similar. So depends on what chemistry of battery though and the cell design and its use. What do you do with all your solar power builds? I literally, <laughs> I don't know. Each one's different. If I really like it, I'll keep it for a couple weeks, but yeah. EcoFlow Delta featuring capacity of oh yeah i already did that yeah check out my video on that oh man you're from the philippines dude there are so many people from the philippines on the forum and also on a facebook group called let me look it up real quick because it might help you everybody on there is from the philippines and i love seeing what what they build on there it's absolutely incredible so it's called the diy solar setup group on Facebook and has 24,000 members and everybody's from the Philippines. Really great group. They're so supportive. And if you see what they're powering with how much money they've got, it's incredible. I love it. I do not have a 3d printer. You guys, uh, I need an awesome, <laughs> I need a scope. I need 3d printer. I need a bunch of stuff. There are nothing larger than 100 amp hour fortune cells, but honestly stick with 100 amp hours. Um, the Marine guys 
typically stick with everything um, at 100 amp hours or less because the terminals and everything else gets weaker and weaker the larger those cells are. And also for cooling, you want to have smaller cells. So if you can, buy 100 amp hour or smaller. Absolutely. Even if you build a big one, build it big and parallel tons of them. Just make sure they're charged up all the way. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wow, there are a lot of comments here. Make your house? What does that mean? Let's see here. So right now we've got 127 people on the forum. Isn't that cool, you guys? I love this forum. Honestly, I learned from the forum now. At first, I was trying to help everybody out. Now they're helping me out because there's some smart people on there, man. There's some smart cookies. They're electrical engineers and um, electricians. It's, it's great to see the information that they post. It's incredible. Yeah, I, I have the charger, Ghost Rider. I've been meaning to message you, by the way. I do. It is a good BMS, but I'm kind of lazy because right now I have to build like 10 batteries and I'm going to parallel connect them for my massive Frankenstein um, solar shed. But I'm just going to use FET based BMSs that are cheap because if I do a chargery, okay, think about this. If I do a chargery, I'm connecting, I would have to buy a chargery for each and every individual battery with two relays two shunts, right? Because there's input and output. So it's it's just a big pain in the butt, you know? Prousenberg. <laughs> Solar-powered minigun. How did you deal with the weather change from California to Nevada? Okay, guys, get this. Eight months out of the year, around eight months, is the same as California here in Nevada. Like the winter is practically the same. The only difference is you have three months that it's crazy, super duper hot, but my solar output is amazing and I can run the air conditioners at full blast. So I don't even care. Honestly, it's, I love Nevada. Like I love living here. I don't even want to tell you guys because I don't want people moving out here. It's like so quiet and beautiful and these mountains, like it's great. Solar powered well pump. I did not buy any, well, I bought Tesla stock when it was like when it was down here and then it kept shooting up and I bought and then I sold it off and I make like a thousand dollars and then I just jumped out of the market and then it like plummeted. <laughs> I hate investing, by the way. I hate day trading. I hate trying to make money off of that. I would prefer helping people directly and making a product or helping other companies make a product or review. I just cannot say, why not Arizona? Arizona is hot as heck, you guys. Yeah, this house is crazy insulated. Like, I forgot what the R factor is. They actually had it on the, um, there was an assessment when I was buying it and it showed the R factor. Wow, 600 people, you guys, that's crazy. Do not combine lithium iron phosphate and nickel magnesium cobalt. Nickel, magnesium, cobalt oxide batteries and do not add in parallel lead acid. I actually did that and I made a video and it took me like two weeks of hard work and <laughs> I deleted the video. Like half of the videos I make on this channel, I delete because they're not going to provide utility to the viewer. Like if it's not actually going to help you, then I'm like, all right, this is foolish. And then I just delete it. And that was one of them. Well, I don't... A well? I don't even think we have wells out. I mean, where's the water table line? That's pretty deep. Well pumps are not that hard to build, honestly. We have a whole section on the forum for well well pump building with solar. Oh, gosh, making money from real estate. I have so many opinions on that. I have friends in California that made money off of it after the crash because it was going back up. But I would not count on it because nationally, what you make like two to three percent, like it's really not that great of an investment. I mean, it's a great investment if you can house hack or flip houses, but <laughs> the Sultan of Solar, you guys are so funny. Oh my goodness. Looking healthy. Okay, let's see. Video idea. 
Don't use the balancer, you guys. You don't need a balancer. You need to balance your what? Your balance. You have a 100 and kilowatt, 120 kilowatt hour battery. I, are you sure? That's ridiculous. What are you powering? Yeah, you can extend the range on your electric car. You just have to like not drive like an idiot. My new Tesla Model 3 performance, you guys, goes so fast that it is so hard not to drive. Like I stay within the speed limit, but it's just like accelerating is so much fun. So you know what you could do is turn it on chill acceleration. It has that option on Tesla so that it doesn't you know go as fast, but... You just have to drive really slow. The number one thing that you're fighting is aerodynamic resistance. So if you could just, you know, chill out and go nice and slow, you could go really far with an electric car. I forgot what price I bought Tesla stock. And I forgot when I sold it. I didn't sell it at 900. I sold it at like six or 700. So, I mean, I didn't make a killing off of it. But I've always made money in the stock market, but I hate it. I do not like stocks at all. I don't like the currency market either. I do not like crypto. Like I get into those things to secure money. I'm not trying to make money. I'm trying to be inflation and a couple other things and offset taxes, but I'm not a big fan of investing. I do not like investing. Okay. Let's see. We've got a lot of comments. Oh, dude. Yeah. Outback is a very good manufacturer, by the way. I have one and I haven't made a video and it's messed up because I love it, but it's really expensive. So I know people won't like it as much. It has every safety certification out there. I weigh 142 pounds, by the way. Somebody just asked me that. I'm actually pretty hefty for like my height. I'm pretty short. I know you did the... which. Okay, hold on. Let's see. We've got a lot of random questions. Yeah, Arizona is mostly the same weather. It's still hotter, though. I mean, Phoenix gets crazy hot. No, powered portable solar seems pretty good. The Titan's actually doing pretty good. You know what's funny is all the products that I thought were going to be good this year were pretty junky. And then all the products that I thought were going to be cheap Chinese junk we're actually pretty well improved. Like we complained a lot last year and they fixed it. So it's pretty cool. Hi, Sophia. <laughs> Sophia just said, hi. <laughs> yeah, no state income tax here, man. The amount that I saved in money by moving to Nevada is out of this world. All of my California friends, they were like, dude, you're an idiot. You don't want to live in Nevada. And they would say, oh, it's too hot. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. I love it here. I love living here. Put your house up on jacks and let the weight of your house be on a gravity battery. That's pretty funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you need a really heavy weight and a crazy gear system to do that. That's not hard to do though. You could do it. That'd be pretty fun. EcoFlow Delta and Blue Eddy. Blue Eddy's better for long-term use. EcoFlow is better for output. Don't use the Kodiak, in my opinion, no. Oh, yeah, women treating me different. So when I pull up to a light, girls have waved at me and smiled. And I was like, what the hell? You guys didn't do that when I was in my Toyota Echo that I bought for like $1,000. So I love buying the cheapest, nastiest cars and using them as work vehicles or driving across the country. Like that's like, I love doing that. And I bought this Toyota Echo. One time, one of my friends, he was like, if you had a million dollars, what would you spend it on? And I was like, and I had a Toyota Echo at the time. And I was like, I'd buy two Toyota Echoes. And he just laughed his butt off. Cause I love those little cars, man. I'm gonna, so my sister's using it right now because her car was breaking down. So I was like, all right, Paige, you can just use this car instead. Um, and she was all happy. And I was like, so once she breaks it, I want her to break that car. Then I'm going to take it, register it in Nevada. And then I'm going to, um, put an electric motor and stuff in it. It's hard though, because used electric cars are so cheap though, but I'm sure I have enough batteries laying around to do it. I mean, I have a bunch of used batteries I could throw in that thing. Even if it gets like 50 mile range, that would be cool too. 
I have no grass to cut. My lawn in my backyard is desert, so it's zero maintenance. It's it's so nice. A previous video, okay. Yeah, yeah, they, it's so funny with the Tesla. Also, guys ask me, they're like, hey, what do you do for work? They ask me that. But yeah, when I was driving my cheap junkie cars, not even at the time of day, which is fine, I understand. What do you think about dating in an RV? Actually, when I was younger, like girls like the RV and van traveler guy because they're like, oh, he's traveling. But um, you're just like hippie chicks in California like that. But if you want to actually find a person that you want to date long term for years and years, um, you don't want to live in RV. RV life is not good for anybody. I don't care how fun the traveling is. Everybody should have like a stationary place where they can study and like cook good food and just relax. Um, I'm not a big fan of like nomadic living anymore. I do not like it. I was just trying to justify it because it was cheap and I don't like spending money. That's why I did it. And because, you know, I was thrown into that. Let's see here. Holy cow, you guys have a lot of questions here. Let me see. I made a quick little list. Let's see what else there is. Oh, yeah, prepping. Okay, guys, like three months ago, I saw that, the, you know, the virus is in, um, what's it called? Uh, China. So I bought 100 pounds of rice. And my friends were like, you're an idiot. It's not going to come over here. It's not that bad. China's lying, blah, blah, blah. And then guess what? Guess who's got the rice now? <laughs> like everyone had panic buying. And I like, I've already been stocked up for months. What are V-Bucks, you guys? I don't know what that is. Because yeah, temperature changes in a van are really tough. Also, one of my friends told me that there was a study, I forgot who did it, but if you're in a building or a house with tall ceilings and it's silent, your stress hormone is substantially decreases. And that's very important to be healthy. Like you want to be in a very large, they recognize you, bro. I actually get recognized a lot on the street. Okay. So when I used to do vlogs, I would get recognized at like the gym in like most places. But because now I do solar videos mainly, I get recognized at Home Depot in the electrical section or Fry's Electronics. Or if there's anything electrical, I think people's minds are geared towards that. And then I'm associated with that. And then when they see me, they're like, oh, crap, it's Will. But it's pretty funny. Cracks me up. Turn the shed into a gravity battery. You guys love these gravity batteries. Jeez, you guys are funny. NEC for solar installations. Oh, man, that's a good point, Michael Paul. There are specific rules that you have to follow that every single system should, should have. But I don't want my viewers to do that. I want qualified electricians and solar installers to do that. I was, that's why I didn't make those, some of those videos. I was like, you're messing with the voltages, even the DC voltages on the roof. I do not want my viewers to touch that. You guys can die so fast. It's crazy. Oh, Fortnite money is a V box. I don't play Fortnite. You guys, I played it one time. Guys, I'm going to be 30 this year. I just shaved though. I actually had almost a beard because I didn't leave my house for a few days. And like, I looked old. But yeah, I look like a kid now. It's crazy. Oh, an array of HDPE tubing connecting lots of small balloons. Was that like an air pressure battery? <laughs> my dad's boss, because my dad's a mechanic and his boss would come up with all these crazy ideas. And there was this car that stored energy in the form of pressurized air. And it just sounded like the worst idea in the world. Because think about if you crash that thing and it explodes you like take out half a block of people. Like it, just, it does not sound good in the shrapnel going like half a mile away, man. Oh, let's see here. 330 watt panels. Dude, get the biggest panel you can. I am paying for insurance on the Toyota. It's like $246 every six months though. So it's not bad. It's pretty cheap. I'm going to test something if this light is 
Is that better? Nah, I like the light on. It keeps me awake. I want to go to sleep if that thing's too low. Who is Sophia? What do you mean? Hydrogen is worse than air. Yeah, it is, man. Oh, uh, the Lion UT1300. It's okay if you can get it on sale. Um, It's a good battery for the price if you get the Lion Energy battery on sale. It's good. There are better options, but they cost more. So I think it's a good battery for the price. Yeah, the fries, guys. Hold on, let's see here. Yeah, video games are not good long term. I like to jump on there and just kill a bunch of people and then jump off because it's like a really fast paced game, Apex. And then I just get off because I can't play games for like four hours like most guys. Like a lot of my guy friends can sit there and play it for like two, maybe six hours. I can't do it. I do it like for 35 minutes, two games, and then I get off. And then I'm then I go to my Oh, thank you. I know. Well, you know what? I'm going to make you a mod, Philip, because you're cool. I know you for a long time now. There we go. You're a mod if you want to clean up some stuff for sure. The buy his book is fine. I mean, I can't argue with that. But, yeah, some of these are silly. All right, I'm starting to get tired. Unless you guys have some really cool <laughs> thoughts on space travel, okay. Actually, I used to think about that a lot. Like interstellar travel is just absolutely crazy to think about. I think that we'll create artificial ro art artificial intelligence robot systems that will go to other planets and other stars. I don't think humans are. Humans are just so difficult to like transport, especially through space, man. Yeah, solar is pretty incredible, you guys. I agree. The Prosenberg? Prosenberg? Oh, the solar shed. Oh, hey, Steve. What's up? That's cool. I'd like to see full recommended commodities. Damn, your guys' minds are going all over the place. Look at this. Wow, there is a lot of stuff here. I still do not have health insurance, but I could pay for whatever if I have to, once I get cancer. All right, see you later, peace stuff. Jeez, there's so many. Wait, how well did that video do? I posted a video like an hour ago. Okay, let me check it out real quick, you guys. Hold on. YouTube.com. I can't believe how many people are watching this. It's so crazy. I'm so tired of people talking about the markets and the stocks. It's like, they don't know. You don't know what it's going to do. They're, they always make themselves sound so confident. And it's just like... Some of these comments, guys, on these videos, I'm making videos on solar power and they're asking about, oh, geez, I don't know. I don't want to complain. I'm trying to practice stoicism, you know, but man, <laughs> I just don't know where these people come up with their crazy ideas. Like, I'm like, what? Why? Why? Oh, geez. Okay, most of the comments are good. 95% of the comments are great. I'm not complaining. Oh, God. <laughs> Spider on your chair. Would you put a solar panel on? No, don't put any solar panels on any vehicles. Just use batteries. Batteries are great. I just spent three grand on Amazon. Yeah, same here. Every week. 24 volt batteries. 
By the way, you guys, if you like economics, a really cool guy, though, is the Uneducated Economist. He has a really cool channel. I like it. It's really hard to find YouTubers that are actually genuine. I feel like everything, everything becomes clickbait. Like every single YouTuber, if you listen to them, they're like, hey, guys, guess what? And I mean, I sound like that sometimes, but I don't try to, you know, I don't want to sound freaking cheesy like that. Oh. Solar powered. All right, you guys, I should get off. I'm getting so tired. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Once There is so many questions here. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get off now because I really should get off. It's been like, what, an hour and 15 minutes. But thank you so much for watching. This is a very random stream. But yeah, I'm glad it actually worked out. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. And have a good night. See you later. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.